So how is your work going, working on the farm? Not great. It's not like I expected at all. Really? In what way? Well, I knew the work would be physical and hard, out in the hot sun. What I didn't realize was that the farmer would be a cheat and would be exploiting me and the other workers terribly. Why what happened? Well, when we arrived, the farmer said that we would need to hand over our passports to him for safekeeping. Then we needed to pay a fee of $2,000 to cover his training costs to teach us to do the job. $2,000 to teach you how to pick fruit? Seriously? What did you say? What could I say? I am stuck here in the middle of a country that I don't know. He has my passport. I just agreed to get it over with. How did you find $2,000 to pay for the training? I didn't. The farmer loaned the money to us at a 25% annual interest rate. So he loaned you the money for you to pay him? Absurd, right? So what was the training like? There wasn't any. Basically we worked for the first two weeks without pay because we were supposedly training. They just yelled at us a lot. That really is awful. Oh it gets worse. I am living in a fairly run down shack with two rooms, a bedroom and sort of a common room. With an outside shower. There are 11 of us sleeping there on the floor. Anyway at the end of the first week we each got sent an invoice of $150 for our food and board. Seriously? Yes. We didn't have any money yet so that went on to the loan. With a 25% interest rate? With a 25% interest rate. But after all that you started getting paid, right? Yes. But there are fines if we damage the fruit, fines if we work too slowly, fines if the farmer thinks we have bad attitude, and basically just fines whenever the farmer feels like it. In the first month, once you took out fines and loan repayments I made about $220. I sent that back home to my family. You worked a month for $220? Yes. I am worried because the loan is going to keep growing. I will end up behind and basically be working for nothing. This is awful. In fact, this is so awful that I'm not even going to try to do a dad joke, because there genuinely are itinerant fruit pickers who face this sort of treatment. And worse. It's appalling. It's a stain on Australia.